We begin tonight in storm alert. The severe weather threat continuing to hover over this holiday weekend. Severe weather sweeping across the bi state region tonight from quarter sized hail battering homes, the funnel clouds in the metro east to a flooded interstate. This surge of dangerous weather sweeping across the St. Louis area and just into our newsroom. We have a video of the moment an apparent tornado made its way into New Baden. This is from a storm chaser who saw the funnel cloud shaped cloud as it uh, headed towards a rural highway. A viewer who lives near tells us the winds took out power lines and caused fire crews to close off the road there. Good evening. I'm Mark Maxwell. Mike Bush has tonight off. We remain in that storm alert right now. We'll be in a tornado watch for at least another hour and damage reports have been coming in from across the by state over these last few hours. We've got team coverage. Laura Barcheski is in Melville. Annie Crawl is in South St. Louis. But first, let's get right over to our meteorologist Gary Frank with the latest information about these threats and what they mean for the rest of tonight. Gary. Yeah, yeah. Good evening, Mark. Obviously, we, we saw that wide area of storms that moved through, create a lot of wind damage and multiple tornado warnings for hours upon end. We've seen most of us right now with that tornado watch that has expired. So I just want to first and foremost update you on that because while there are a couple of counties here that are still kind of involved in the larger tornado watch uh, on the uh, Illinois side. Most of them are not involved in that at all. They're still kind of hanging on to that tornado watch officially, but still we're in good shape the rest of the night. So I don't want you to worry about that. What I do want to point out is how we had this line of storms that was started off with uh, areas in Franklin County and St. Louis County that had that line of storms as this moved off to the southeast. That was our first tornado worn storm, and that was the one that caused the most significant damage to start off. You'll see where most of that rain has settled in and it's moved through. We're all clear now. We had to deal with small flooding threat, but watch how that line of storms evolved from west to east. That's where we had uh, that tornado that radar confirmed tornado. Then this turned into a linear area where we had 70 to 80 mile an hour wind gusts and multiple embedded tornadoes on the leading edge of that line, especially in the Illinois side. And as we just follow the storm reports along, you can see we're starting off in Eureka Pacific south of Wildwood along 44 into Melville Arnold Belleville. You'll watch the path of that storm. That's where we saw that uh, tornado and wind gusts as well. What we're going to see the rest of the night is much quieter conditions and overall I think we're going to see as temperatures have fallen quieter conditions and temps in the low 60s. But we'll walk up, walk through how this storm evolved over the course of the afternoon and what we can expect the rest of the week. And tonight cleanup is already underway for some people living in Melville. Just hours ago the community took cover when a tornado was confirmed by radar from the National Weather Service. Five on your side's Laura Barcheski is live in a neighborhood just off I-55 after seeing some extensive damage. Laura. Mark, these neighbors tell me they feel like they could actually see a tornado coming right for them. That's on Morningdale Place where we are right now. It came for their houses, trees, cars, all of it took a beating here in Melville. Lisa Arndt says she and her family were having a laid back evening Sunday at home when powerful storms tore through the Melville area. All of a sudden my husband screamed run and we grabbed the dog and ran down to the basement. But before that I saw the water swirling around and hitting our window and all the leaves and tree branches and just kind of swirling around our house. This tree was snapped in half and tossed onto the road near Morningdale Place and Valleyside Lane. A lot of trees, a lot of trees in this neighborhood. It's a beautiful place, but yeah, it's uh, it's a mess right now. And the mess only gets worse as you drive down Morningdale. These two neighbors had some of the worst damage. A garage destroyed on one side and the entire left corner of the home next door was brought down to the ground, tearing up their backyard and bringing down the power lines. Katie Piles lives across the street. And then we hear it a woof against the house and then all the doors open because of the air pressure inside. Then we ran to the basement. After it passed and the rain was still coming down, everyone came out to check on their neighbors. And everyone's okay, healthy. The fire department came, checked and made sure everyone was okay. And the damage didn't stop there. Even further down the street, shingles were peeled off roofs, car windows were broken, more trees came down, and random things were picked up and thrown into people's yards. I've now inherited a kayak, so whoever is missing an orange kayak, they can come get that. Arndt says it's a miracle no one was seriously hurt. We were singing Send Me an Angel by the 80s band Real Life, I think it was, yeah. And I truly believe that we had an angel wrap 
their wings around our home. Well, neighbors tell me the power is still out for a lot of them, and they're not exactly sure when it's going to come back on. It may be a little while. They haven't gotten an update here very soon, but they are still hard at work cleaning, patching up those roofs, and they probably will be until they head to bed tonight and into tomorrow. Reporting live in Melville, Laura Barcheski, 5 on your side. South St. Louis is not the only area in need of cleanup after these storms. Many of you have been sending in your weather pictures and video from across the bi-state region. In the Metro East, people saw high winds and rain. These pictures coming from viewers in Swansea and Columbia, Illinois. Take a look at that. These storms also bringing in a lot of hail everywhere from Florissant, Missouri to Belleville, Illinois. Some reporting hail as big as tennis balls falling in their front yards. As the storms came through, the rain also packed a punch, causing water to rush over these roads in South St. Louis County near Grant's Farm. People in Valley Park also had to deal with flooding on roads there. One of the worst cases of flash flooding hit South St. Louis as first responders rushed to save people trapped in their cars. Five on your side's Annie Crawl joins us live near I-55 at Loftborough after speaking with some of those impacted drivers. Annie. You would never know, Mark, but just a few hours ago, this highway was a swimming pool of water, and some of those drivers were trapped in their cars, and they had traffic blocked both north and southbound on I-55 near where we are at Loughborough Avenue, and we were here even before the firefighters. This footage that you'll see is southbound on I-55, and you'll see a white pickup truck stuck in that water as the poor driver just tries to get his engine going again, eventually saved by St. Louis firefighters who were here by 630 this evening. It's a spot on I-55 that has had problems before, which is why part of this current construction is trying to make sure this doesn't keep happening. Sunday drivers were frustrated and frankly shocked at the depths of the water on the road right in front of them. You want to tell us why you're driving through here? Uh, yeah, it's all flooded down there on the uh, on the highway, completely flooded. Uh, the scene is just like a foot or two feet of water. It's all the way up to that guy's knees, and it's just constant rain. After looking at that flash flooding, I can't tell you just how incredible it is. This highway has cleared up. We've been driving all over the Metro East to Belleville and Dupo, and there's been a lot of branches down there as well. First responders with Clinton County telling us that just in the last two hours, there still has been no structural damage, thankfully. Reporting live in St. Louis, Annie Kroll, 5 on your side.